Before we dive into the code, let's talk about some of the options that we'll be exploring in the course. For the camera, you can use a UI image picker controller. We'll find that that's a really flexible and useful control. It will present to you the standard iOS camera interface. And that's great and may be exactly what you want for your app. But you might also want to change the UI, add some slickness to it or some style that matches your application. You might also want it to feel like it's still in the same app. So you can use an overlay view and we'll see how to do that. And that will provide a UI skin that will go around the camera view. You can also add controls for camera features. For instance, we're going to take a look at zooming and handling the light. These techniques also apply to video, because video underneath the wraps also uses the UI image picker controller. We're going to be working with a photo gallery, and again, we can use that UI image picker controller. And that provides a standard user interface for the photo library. And the user can choose any image from the library that they like, and we can use that image in our application. We're also going to take a look at a more custom view, and we'll be using the UI collection view, and we'll create a custom gallery. And that way we can provide any look or feel we want to that gallery, and we can also code different actions on gallery events. For instance, we may want to handle a selection or a tap on a photo differently than what a standard UI image picker controller would give us. For audio, the base selection is an AV audio player. There's no UI, just an audio function. And that will auto-adjust to any file format that iOS supports, for instance, CAF and MP3. We'll also be using an AV audio recorder. And again, there's no UI, just recording functions. And we'll be able to adjust audio quality settings. For instance, there's a setting directly for audio quality, but we'll also be able to handle the sampling rates and whether it's stereo or mono. So that's a brief overview of the options that we're going to take a look at, and there'll be some other details that we'll explore as we go on our way.